Okay, hi everybody again. So, let's go find where the next scam is. Ed, lead the way. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, right here. Okay. That's right. Oh no, are they doing that episode? Are they like making a parody of that episode? Well, not parody, um, um, a recreation of the episode Don't Rain on My Ed. The one where they were doing Customer Appreciation Day at the candy store and they were giving away free jawbreakers. Well, see, I don't know if it was Customer Appreciation Day or Employee Appreciation Day. I think it was Customer, but bottom line was they were trying to get to the candy store. And literally, God got in the way of them trying to get to the candy store. Like, everything that could go wrong on the way could go wrong. Like, every little thing got in the way. Like, Sarah pulled Ed away because I guess Ed had to clean his room or, like, do chores or something. Um, They had to clean up... The, oh, wait, Sarah wanted them to clean up the scam, or I don't know. And then... Uh, Kevin got in the way of Eddie trying to run, um, then, like, right, right when they were across the street from the candy store, a thunderstorm popped up, and, like, the wind started blowing them away from the candy store, and then Ed, like, started pulling Double D and Eddie across the street, and then Rolf came with, like, a herd of chickens and, like, blocked the way, too, and then, of course, Ed loves chickens, and then he has to dive in, and then Eddie, of course, is torn between trying to save his friends and go into the candy store, and by the time he makes up his mind and jumps through the candy store, it shuts in his face. It's like one big fuck you to him, and he loses the respect of Double D at the end of the episode. So, yeah. That was a big speech, I gotta find some coins. Because we're not in a hurry. There's no time limit. I could take my time. Right, look at all those coins. Alright. I think we have to play as Ed. Nice. We're in the wrong yard. We need to get out of here. While one of us could walk along this narrow board, all three of us could never successfully traverse it. However, if we were to stand on each other in a sort of tower, our single body would allow all what? of us to traverse this board without falling Why out. can't um, the three of you just go separately? Oh. In fact, I'm pretty sure all three of you oh. getting on there is only going to break it. Woodpecker! Sup with dirt. Right, we gotta get the orb because it's health. Alright, well let's follow Double D's um, scientific logic. And climb. Oh no. Wow, I just realized how big Sarah's lips are. <laughs> I remember there was that one episode when they were they figured out how to use use cartoon logic, and then there was this one part where Eddie pulls Sarah's mouth off, and then it's still able to bite him. In it, Pip Squeak. We're in a hurry. Get the dolls, Ed! But yeah, there you go, Sarah. Being such a bossy little Please, prick. Sarah, don't tell Mom. We'll get the dolls right and I like how Ed has no different facial expressions. Drop them near Jimmy. Are you freaking kidding me? Get off! You know what? Screw you, Sarah. I'm gonna push the table so that we can go. Where do you think you're going, mister? How does her weight manage to hold the thing down against three... Three boys are, are, prob are older and probably a lot stronger than she is. Yeah, Double D has, like, no strength, but Eddie does, and so... And especially Ed. So, I don't know. Son of a bitch. Ouch. 
Are you freaking kidding me? Get off. Die, sons of bitches. Die, you sons of bitches. Now we pick up the toy, which is like an explosion. How the ground shakes when we pick it up. Jimmy, shut up! I'm giving you your toys! Look! Sarah left the table! And I like how the teddy bear just bounces away! <laughs> hey! We got a new bonus level! Nice. Son of a bitch! Let go of me! I know you do! Let's run, because there's freaking enemies all over the place! There's like a freaking infestation! Oh, 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 oh. Alright. Can Double D move this thing? Yes, he can. Hmm, this should work. Never mind, he can't. So where we go then? Oh wait. Come on! Son of a bitch. Alright, come on up. Good, now we have to switch to Ed again. Nice. Son of a... Stop! Wow. These are like freaking face huggers. Well, they may as well be. Are they injecting like rabies or something into Ed? That would actually be pretty bad. You know, rabies, one of those diseases that has like no cure. It has a vaccine that can protect you against it, but there's no cure. And once you show symptoms, you're basically done. Sure, there's a maneuver that's been tested on a few patients, and it has worked on some. But, it hasn't worked on a couple of others, and on the patients it did work on, they basically had to relearn to walk and everything. So, yeah. Get vaccinated. Speaking of which, there's that new Zika virus, or Zika virus, I think it's Zika virus. That's all over the news, and apparently it causes babies to be born with little heads. And here I am thinking about having kids of my own. Guess I'll have to postpone, especially since the CDC and the World Health Organization have said that a vaccine probably won't be out for another decade. Medical science, people. Sometimes it's not as advanced as you think. Or maybe there's something I'm missing. Like, seriously, how does it take 10 years to develop a vaccine for a disease that's relatively mild? Hmm? Because, yeah, the virus only infects about 1 in 5 people. Like, literally, if you get the virus, 4 out of 5 people will show no symptoms. And even when you do show symptoms, it's nothing more than, like, a little rash. And maybe a fever. That's about it, and as far as I can tell, it's, it doesn't re-emerge after the initial attack. Like, it's not like shingles or anything like that, so... Literally, the only thing that's really wrong with it is that apparently there's a link with babies being born with little heads. That could kill them, and have them be disabled. So, yeah. I can understand for something like HIV or shingles, something that remains with you for life, 
and it's really hard to treat since it attacks since some of them attack the immune system itself. Zika virus is not like that. I mean, sure, you could say there's no Ebola vaccine. Well, Ebola is freaking Ebola. It's a killing machine. That's a little more complicated to deal with. But like I said, there's probably something I'm missing with vaccine development, so don't take offense to anything I say. If I even say, did the cankers draw that seriously? Chicken! Nice! And I just realized we didn't get the chicken in the last level. Which is kind of sad. We could always go back, though. Anyways, let's explore. What the hell? Double D? Ha uh ha! -huh, double D! Double D is a bunny rabbit! Ha ha ha! I don't get it. Yeah, you quit it, sockhead. You know? You gotta quit it. Alright, so... Oop. All right, let's keep exploring here, because I wonder if there's good bonuses. There probably isn't. And I was right. Alright, back to Ed. All right, now can Double D move this? Yep. Nope. All right. Wow. Seriously. Okay, stop. Cut it out. Now we can freaking move it. Okay. Hey, hey, is that what I think it is? Alright, we need Ed. Oh, Kevin. Yup, it's their middle school. It isn't dork, dork, and dorky. Oh, great! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, shovel chin. Can it, dork? Let's see how cool. I just realized his chin does look like a shovel. I stuck my tongue in a bathtub drain once. See that basketball over there? Pick it up and throw it at these trash cans behind me. Knock them down, and I'll let you pass. If not, you losers won't be going anywhere. <laughs> Yeah, what kind of for how are you gonna force us to do that? What you gonna put call us out for being dorks like how you do all the damn time? Oh wait, we just need Ed. Nice. Alright. Let's just hope the little squirrelies don't attack us. Seriously, I thought the squirrely scouts would be training them. Oh, but then again, they probably have rabies, and they probably infected Ed, who probably has a natural immunity to it. Son of a bitch. Alright, the basketball's trapped up there. Shit. I think the only character we haven't interacted with extensively was Naz. Let's see, um, Rolf was in the meatball, 
um, scam. Um, Jimmy and Sarah were multiple times by now. The Kankers were in the last level. Um, Johnny was in the last level. Kevin's right now. Yeah, Naz is like the only one we haven't interacted with yet. And yeah, Eddie's brother doesn't count, by the way. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Nice. Nice save, Ed. All right, where'd he go? Bees! What do we do? We could probably wow. some honey. <laughs> Those mo I, come on, just get some cranberries or raspberries, and then you can lure them away. Piglet did that. And I guess we gotta steal honey away from Johnny now. Double D, don't be doing your bunny hopping again. What? Shit. All right, let's see. That was good. So it looks like the bees just want some mid-flight entertainment and not just um fruit. Well, fruit kind of makes sense because bees like sugary stuff. Hell, if you go to like Six Flags, Disney World, um. Any theme park that has, like, cotton candy or, like, sweet stuff, watch out. That stuff is going to attract bees. Because they want the sugar. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Got a lot more coins, and now we have to... Oh, God, we, got, we need Eddie. Alright, Eddie, jump up here. Come on, boys. There we go. Working as a team. Dodge, walk, walking over a balance beam, even though the weight of Ed alone would probably break it. <laughs> Shit, I wanted to break that bot. Oh, wait, we can climb up. Oh, fuck. All right, kill the rats. All right. Let's climb back up, because that box is very important. Fuck. Alright, nice. That's all the coins. Twenty seven. Let's see. Um, door. That's double D's forte. And in we go. Oh wow, they made it. Hurry, we got the last one. Eddie, wait. They're what? Not what? Human consumption. What? You're having an the fuck? Energy. I'd stay away from foot powder if I were you. Come on, the store is closing. Wait, I can't go outside like this. What the hell? So, it looks like the candy store decided to become, like, um... Bots every flavor beans, where they have every flavor jawbreakers. And the only jaw every flavor jawbreakers they happen to have left are the foot powder taste ones. Look at me! I'm And Eddie has... Eddie is now, like, a Frankenstein creation. And, um... Yeah. My dad has a shovel. Hot. Avoid being seen by the other kids and go to Eddie's room. Ah, so we have some Metal Gear Eddie right now. Well, we'll have to sneak Eddie back home in the next video.